What is shaking to Nation? Chewbacca, let me hear back with another Manitude half hour only sniping video where we snipe for a half hour and hopefully make a lot of coins. Uh, you guys have given me a lot of great suggestions on my team. So here it is on offense. We picked up Culpepper with 99 throw power. We have Le'Veon Bell at running back since Bo is our tight end. We also have Jordan Reed there. We probably should sell him. Honestly, his value has already fallen quite a lot since he's been on my team. He's, he's pretty solid for a receiving tight end, but I want to get a new center but there's just not really good options out there. So I could I always like Marpet not bad to sub in, actually. I think it's a little bit better. But, oh, uh, yeah, there's the offense. Defense, here it is. Pretty solid. I am kind of leaning towards upgrading Von Miller soon. Still worth a nice penny. Uh, strong safety. You know, Ken Houston looks amazing. Defensive line, I'm trying out Strahan. He's been solid. I don't know if he's really that much better than uh, Clowney with that secure tackler. But we run a 3-4 odd system. We sub in Watt. Atkins doesn't even see the field, and Jalen Ramsey hardly ever sees the field as well. So corner, you would think you need to upgrade your corners. Honestly, the two corners I have in Marshawn Lattimore and A.J. Boye have been absolutely amazing. And since I almost always am in a 3-4 odd, 3-4 over, 3-4 predator, something 3-4, there's really no reason to have more than one corner. That new Anthony Barr as well, not so new anymore. I'm thinking about picking him up. I've been saying that for a while, but his price is down. I think that might be the move the next upgrade but definitely let me know who you guys think I should upgrade now here we go with our filter 92 93 going through the chemistries I am falling in love with this I think it's really really good and if you if you have less coins try 90 91 you can go all the way down to like 84 85 I was trying that that's actually pretty solid as well you can get a lot of nice snipes just make sure you're seeing the newest cards make sure you're seeing 59 minutes there and you should be pretty good. So, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're watching this when it goes live, it is a Saturday, which you probably uh, don't need a reminder that what day it is, but it is. If you didn't know, uh, if you're watching when it went live, it is Saturday. And, uh, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. That They had a new uh, Mel Blunt drop. Limited time. Looks pretty solid, 97 overall. A lot of people are hoping it'll be a 98 at least, since it is a limited time. I was actually kind of shocked it wasn't a 98, but I think that's okay. I don't problem with that but it looks like a really good card one of the best corners in the game maybe the best corner in the game but not too much i don't think he's that much better than some of the other like night train lane so if you're worried like team over scheme that's still maybe a little bit of an issue but i think that it, it was not like he's much better than somebody you can get for a lot cheaper is this a buy i think it is i'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger 92 marina let's see all right so we're gonna use mutthead here of course if you haven't already checked out the mutthead podcast i would encourage you to do that i'm on there co-host chewbacca lima mutthead podcast uh, let's go ahead and check out 92 dan marino did i just make a dumb buy did i i don't know i just bought it for 57 the last one sold for 71 before that 83 80 79 Ooh. yes please i'll sell this guy for 83 I'm not going to buy the one at 71 because there's not a huge profit margin there, and I don't really feel too confident in my price there. He may be... I don't know, maybe. I, I probably should buy it. I'm going to just I'm gonna just go with that one. But anyways, if you think that these prices, you're like, this is too hard, I don't know how to do this, you can also just sort by buy now. Buy now is actually pretty solid on this filter. You'll be able to easily spot, you know, if this Singletary, you know, should I buy that? Maybe look him up, see if maybe you can sell him for 50 you know, maybe just go down a little bit. The reason you wouldn't want to do buy now, though, is because that Marino I just bought, you might have missed him. Or if a card is put up for 100, he goes for 200, you're going to miss him. So buy now is definitely not preferred, okay? So uh, if you know your prices 100%, do not do buy now. But if you're struggling, definitely try buy now, and it will definitely, you'll, you know, the first, you'll get a snipe, and then you're going to feel really good. I'm going to check this card, Michael. I don't see why that would be a great deal. Okay. Um, but. And then what's really nice is once you start doing this, if you do the filter for a while, you get your prices down and you start being, okay, I know that Carmichael goes, I can probably sell them for close to 90. So if somebody undercuts that, I got it in my head. Of course, if you need to write stuff down, it's not terrible as well, but I'm a numbers guy, so it makes it a little bit easier. 64,000, I think this is a buy. Any Michael Irvin will sell, these 93 Michael Irvins basically will sell for 75,000. I, I, that's where it is right now. Look on Mudhead, see what they're selling for. I sold, I just sold one for a little bit higher than that. I'm just going to sell this one for, we'll try 76.5. Uh, somewhere between 74 to like 80, you can sell them for. So again, look at Mudhead, see that, what they're selling for. But I'm telling you right now, if you need a card to snipe, to flip, Michael Urban. Of course, now that I said that, 
Maybe it ruins it. Should I buy this Singletary? I don't think I'm going to make... I won't make too much off of it, but... Let's see. I think it's a buy. I'm going to buy it. We'll go ahead and buy it. Singletary. I don't... Hmm. I'm going to throw him up. Uh, just... I don't think he'll sell for this. If I set 40... I'm going to put him up for 48. Uh, my head is taking a second to... I have to wait to refresh here. I'm going to throw it up for 48. There was a couple under that, of course. But he's physical front... I think the, these legends just generally sell really well, uh, so I think I'll I'll try it. Especially now, people I, I, people don't know what the prices are, so sometimes they overpay, not realizing that it's not even the cheapest one up. You get away with that, so we'll try it. If not, we'll put it up. How much I pay? Thirty-seven. I gotta sell it for like forty-one to get my coins back. A little over forty-one, so I feel like I'll be all right. I gotta check this bus here. Wow, two forty, two forty-five. Those are. Is that really? I, I mean, I know he's been up for 20 minutes, but I don't know. I, I'm guessing he doesn't sell for that, but 230 is that he's worth. Okay. Oops. 230. 92 cam. Okay. All right. I'm guessing that's not a good deal on cam chance where I'm going to go ahead and guess, but I'm not sure. All right. Come on. Good start. Good start. Good start. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have bought that single Terry. I just felt like it was so safe. I kind of, I like safe, you know, like it's a physical front, people like physical front right now, and he sells a decent amount, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Hey, don't be undercut my Merino like that. That's okay. Oh, uh, single, hey, that's my single Terry. That's my single Terry. Let's see, I'm kind of, let's see if my head will allow me to refresh now. All right, let's see, let's refresh on Singletary. Let's see what they've sold for. So I just bought mine for 37, before mine 48,250, so that kind of works. Uh, 40, 41, 40, 50. Okay, so somewhere between 40 and 50. Eh, I could have probably passed on that. But even even though, it's like very small risk. Very small risk. Cheapest one up is 44, but I feel pretty good about that. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, like I said, if you don't know your prices, definitely, you can you can definitely go. I don't, I actually don't know what Herschel goes for. I don't know. It doesn't feel like a good price. I'll, I'll look it up. I, I, even though I see the, I, I say he's worth 80, okay, last one sold for 71, so okay, yeah, we're not going to bother with that, okay, don't, see, I don't know all my prices, so don't feel intimidated by all this, really, you just kind of, you get in there, you start learning them, or you sort by buy now, if you're like, I don't want to know these prices, it's too hard, and you can see, like that Singletary I bought, it was the cheapest one up by like, what, 7,000? All right, you still get up on my head. Maybe you can, you're like, oh, I can. I might be able to sell this for 50. That's kind of how it works if you're doing buy now. If you're doing it by newest, it just comes down to if you you know know your prices and try to you know, try to put them to memory. But really, it's it's tough just to get in there. Ooh, Garrett, is that, that might be a deal. By might, it's not. I'm guessing that one's been up for a while. I probably should have looked. It's been up for too long. It would have been bought. Whoops, wrong one. Team of the year, Miles Garrett. It, says he's worth it does say he's worth 71. Hmm. Maybe. But you know what? I'm going to try it. I might lose coins on this. I might lose coins. But the last one sold for 71.5. And then 68. 71, 79. I don't think I can sell it for that much. I'm going to sell it up for... I'm going to put it up for 75. Whoops. If I sell it for 75, that's 67.5. That's 7,000 coins. Obviously, that's a good that's a good amount of coins, but... Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I was I feel like it wasn't very risky. I got to sell it for, you know, like, what, like 67 to get my coins back? Again, I like the low-risk stuff. You know, low-risk, but still, you know, can make like seven, eight thousand 8,000 coins. I kind of like that. Halfback Vic, I think that's a pretty good price, but not quite good enough. If you have less coins, of course, you could try 991. I might have already said this. But try to ch try cheaper uh, or try lower overalls. And you will uh, be able, if you have less coins, like try 84, 85s. You know, try something like that. Okay, come on. That was not a good deal. I thought maybe that bow was a good deal at 110. Nah. 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 Okay. Cameron Hayward, Levante David, Troy Vincent. 
next. The Honey Bat. Ooh, Xavier Rhodes. It's the cheapest I've seen him. It says he's worth 125. But man, there's so many. This is the, they're up for 102, 105, 114, 116, 129. They've all been. Hmm. I don't know. That one's dropped. There's been so many posted. Hmm. That's tough. The last one sold for 129 13 minutes ago. Obviously, if it sells. That's a really good profit. I mean, that's 30, even if you take 30, that's 14K. Is that worth it? I always say, like, is it worth the risk? It feels like it might be worth it. Belinda Cough, I guess I could look that up. Is this one? Says it worth 63. But Linda Kalhoff, how much do you sell for? Last one sold for 65, 67, 67. That looks like a buy. Let's go. Okay. So again, if I sell it for 60, which I easily can do, I get my money back. So if you have the coins to do it, make sure you weigh risk versus reward. It's a legend wide receiver, sells well. I feel pretty good. That seems like a good risk versus reward. It depends on your coin total, of course. It, like you're not gonna lose coins most likely if you're smart with your how you do this. I gotta look over uh, at Mr. Larry Allen over there at 65. It seems like a buy. Next, next, I could buy that Urban as well. Ooh, Bettis. That's not actually he's been up for a while. See, if you if you could probably. If you look this up, I actually kind of curious. Even though it's been up for 20 minutes, this is like the type of cards that you can overprice really well. So Bettis, that's probably, whoops, I clicked the wrong one. It says he's worth 37, let's see. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. The last one sold for 36, 38, 37, 42, 39. So like, I'm not gonna buy it because it's very small profit, but you could probably easily a couple thousand there. Even though it's been up for 20 minutes, at the, end, the last like 10, 20 minutes, it will probably sell. It will probably sell. Um, Dent. I see him for so cheap all the time. And yeah, good price, but not a great price. Not a great price. I don't know what that was. Okay, read or react. Reggie White. Okay, next, next. Pierre Paul Norman. Oh, okay. So this Xavier Rose is still up. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Oh man. It seems like so low risk. Like I haven't. It's like the cheapest he's ever sold for. It's like. And if I was really, really feeling, I would buy that one for 105 as well. But I don't feel that confident. I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna feel really silly though that if that sells. It's 10k I'm just throwing away. Or not throwing away that I'm not taking. Hmm. Mm. So tough. It's so tough. Uh, this filter is really fun, but it definitely, you definitely gotta be very, very, uh, I would say just not so much confident in your, because they will sell, but you just gotta maybe be okay with it not selling in the first time. Because they definitely will sell. And I, I definitely like, how many times can I say definitely? Like the the low risk sort of stuff for sure. Those like don't seem, that, that Xavier Rose is about as risky as it gets. The Belinda Koff, let's say. So it was at 54, the next one was at 65 or 64 or something like that. Now you would say there's not much profit to be made, but there hasn't, like he is basically guaranteed to sell anywhere between 60 and 70. So 60, you make nothing, you get your coins back, right? Anything over 60, you're making coins. So to me, I will take that risk knowing that I can make six, seven, eight K off of it. Some people might say, you know, it's not worth it. It's, you know, each their own. I, 6,000 coins, is a lot of coins to me. I will try to take that. Um, but some people, you know, if you're going after big snipes, obviously I would try 94, 95, which I did a video on that. That's 
bigger snipes or even go 96 97 if you just want the big snipes if you just want those that is what i would do okay come on toughness mr larry wilson i have to imagine that's not a good deal but i don't know how much that card goes for okay so that's probably about what he's worth good to know i probably won't pop up but just now i know if i see one up for like 70 probably could pull the trigger without much thought pound the rock hmm Antonio, nothing there. All right, let's not go cold now. Come on, Michael Irvin, right here. That Dan Marino was a really nice start as well. Ooh, did something sell? I think it did, because I had my music turned off. Nice. I hope it... Oh, I had a few things on the auction house before I started, though. It might have been something before. Yeah, it probably was. Ah, uh, who knows? Who knows? Okay, come on. Come on. Ronnie. Ronnie, Ronnie, Ronnie. Ronnie. Kevin Williams, 92. I, I'll look. I'll look. I don't know. How long have you been out for? Okay, he's been out. Okay, we will check. We'll check. Probably not a good deal. But 92, Kevin Williams. It says you're worth 100k. You, what a ripoff. Last one sold for 150, though. But nothing, everything else is like 100. <laughs> wow, somebody really wanted that card. And you severely overpaid. 150k. The one before that sold for 90, 104, 100. Yeah, you paid a little much. You paid a little much. Mike Vick. Ooh, there's so many Mike Vicks. So many Mike Vicks. I really wish in EA, and I understand when he was at his peak, he was Michael. Uh, he was Mike Vick. But I think they should put him in. I think they should put him in as Michael Vick. Michael Vick. That was a good deal. Says he's worth 160. Well, he's definitely not worth that now. Let's see. Let's refresh. 140. Not much. Even if I would have been able to sell it for 150, maybe. But yeah, I, I'm okay with missing that. But I probably would have bought. I don't know. Would I have bought that and stuff? If I can sell it for 150, obviously that's 10k. I would have taken that. But I don't know. But Mike, when he went to uh, Philadelphia, which he, they have his, you know, Eagles one on here as well. He was going as Michael Vick. He wanted to go as Michael Vick. So shouldn't he be in the game as Michael Vick? I feel like he should be. That's what he wanted to go by. I'm, I don't know if he's still... Can I buy this one? I bought the other one. Is it still worth the risk? That's mine right there. I don't know. That's like 5K. Ooh, 4K? Nah. Maybe. 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 Kyle Fuller, Randall, all right. Come on, come on, show me the money. Richard Dent, Mel Blunt, no thank you. We got a new Mel Blunt now. Bruce Smith. Oh, I gotta check out this boy, actually. 141, is that a buy? That's gotta be a buy, right? We'll buy it. We'll t we, we, we trust our instincts. We didn't trust enough right at the beginning, but then we trusted it, sort of. 153. Ooh, that makes me nervous. Let's see. Let's see. Did we just make a mistake? Not that, that we can't make mistakes. Oh, man. He hardly ever sells. Hmm. I sell it for 165. Where? Okay. Um, if I sell it for 165, that's 16 and a half away. It was a good price, but was it worth it? Probably not. Probably not. Hmm. That kind of stinks. Okay. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta get your money back. You sometimes. All right. Wilson, 93. Larry Wilson. I saw one up for like 75. I said I would if it was at 70. Let's see. Oh, maybe not 81. Okay. All right. Come on, Mosley. No. Cameron Jordan. No, don't think so. Don't think so. Don't think so. Patrick Chung. You remember when Unfakeable was like a must now, and now everybody wants Secure Tackler since they changed it? How did that affect, like, the, you know, affect everything, you know? Like, that's, 
That was like the, you, on Fakeable, you would pay a big time premium. And now, nope, nope. No, that's not a good deal. That's not a good deal. This is a good deal here. Move the sticks. Come on. Man, I got a good refresh to it. I would have gotten that card if it was a good deal. It said one hour. Hmm. I probably should have my hands on the controller at all times. That probably would be a good idea. All right, how much time we got? How much time we got? We got 10 minutes. Rodney Harrison. Uh, no, 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 Rodney. Come on. Richard Dent, hmm, that boy A, that boy A, man, I don't know, Marcus Mariota, Mel Blunt, Jason Taylor, come on, come on, come on, oh, Mike Vick, man, if we sniped one of those, how cool would that be, that would be cool, that would be cool, I actually kind of want to look up that Vick, see if he's actually selling for like a mill, People actually paying that. 93 Michael Vick. Come on. 900. It says he's worth 950,000 coins. The last one sold for 1,070,000. All the other ones around 900 do it. Million. Okay. Holy smokes. There's another Garrett. What, what did I buy the other one for? I don't remember. Ooh, 54. Okay, I definitely want that one. What did I put him up for? I don't remember. I'll just put this one up for like 72. I think I put him up for like mid 70s. Try to get a little 78 or something. I'll just put this guy up for 72. I definitely like 54. 54 is a really nice number. We won't we won't buy another one. We'll just stick with that. I like it. I like 10,000 coins. I do. 62. We could buy it. We could. Wouldn't be the worst purchase. Wouldn't, but. We'll pass. We'll look for some other stuff. We'll look for some other stuff. Yes, that Mike Vick. Yeah, show me that Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Wild. Man, that Michael Irvin. Have we hit any of those? Maybe one? Have we bought any Michael Irvins? That's usually the one. That's usually the glitch. Michael Irvin is an amazing card to flip. For sure. Rodney. No, thank you. No thank you, Rodney. Mel Blunt, 118. Mm. Mm. Nah. Nope. Jason Taylor. I'm gonna guess. He was at three. Is that? A, I'm guessing he's not worth that much. I guess I should have. I saw one up for 400 something. I guess if it was a good deal, it's probably gone now. But. Um. Of course. He's gone. It might have been a good... Eh, not really. Okay. Not really. Not really. I clicked the... I clicked the 94 one, and I think that's going for, like, close to 500,000. So I got a little bit nervous, but I clicked the wrong one. So we're good. We're good. Belinda Kov. I like it. I like it. You put, that's more than I put mine out for. Atwater... Decisions, decisions. I want decisions. Like now we're not getting any decisions. We're just simply just passing on everything because there's not a good deal out there. If there is, I, I'm not seeing it. Come on. Larry Wilson, 75. No. There's another mile. Oh, 56,000? Do I just buy all these miles, Garrett? They just keep popping up. And it's like, do I... Okay, somebody just bought it. Oh, maybe not. I thought it said... Oh, there it goes. It was already... That's crazy. It hadn't even popped up on my screen yet. It was already showing on Mutthead that it was sold. That's crazy. Mutthead, you're faster than, than the game. That's crazy, actually. That really was crazy. Okay, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good about those. I should have probably bought that one, honestly. And honestly, I was just a little nervous because I don't want to have... You know, I don't want my whole auctions to be filled with Miles Garrett. Prefer that not to happen. But that would have been, you know, that could have been another 10K right there, honestly. Mm, I don't know. Wow, are you serious? That's what drives me nuts. Isn't my boy up for 165? 
How is that ever? Like, are you really gonna sell that? It might, maybe it will. When people undercut by a thousand, it drives me nuts because it makes both of our cars much less likely to sell, I think. Much less likely. You undercut it by at least four or five thousand coins if you're gonna undercut. That's my philosophy. Uh, hmm. Well, at water. Hmm. Ugh. And now another one put up for 164. What if I sell it for 160? It's 144. That's still 3K. I got excited. I saw AJ Boye. That was a good deal. I don't, I'm not happy about making 3,000 coins, but that's what I have to make to just cut even. Larry, Larry, Larry. Hmm. Josh Gordon, no thank you. He doesn't want to call up for 85. You're really trying to get value there. Okay, okay. What time we got? We're got a few minutes, a few minutes. Single Terry at 42. Solid price probably, but no thank you. Larry Wilson. I don't know why there's so many boys. Oh, that's so annoying. 59 for Garrett. Okay. The odds of us getting maximum value out of Garrett with all these people posting them, probably unlikely. Hmm. Woodley, Barber, nope, nope, and nope, nope, nope. If I like, if I my if I knew my Garrett's were selling for seventy, even I'd probably buy that one fifty nine because that's still four K right there. But I mean, of course, I'm not gonna pass up on four thousand coins. But it's just too many. How many do I have? Like three of them? Do I really want any more than three of one card? Not really. Marcus Square. Really want it in this strong, strong Kendricks. I don't think so. Is that another one put up for 164? Are you serious? What is wrong with people? Hmm. I mean, if you, I mean, at least undercut it at least by a thousand, right? You don't put it up for the same. I don't understand. People are trying to sabotage me, I feel like. Three put up for the same amount. Ah. Hmm. Well, Richard Dent at 89. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Come on. <sighs> Don't want that. Don't want it. Missed one. Akoya at 49. That could be a deal. That one's been up for... Uh, let's look it up. Akoya. Hmm, Best, best case probably can sell it for 60, but doesn't sell enough. Does not sell enough. At least we got something there that was somewhat somewhat of a good deal. We haven't even seen any of those yet. Come on, give me an Irvin. Give me an Irvin. About that one. Irvin just, he's been so good. He's been so good. Reed, Dent, Ware. I don't think so. Patrick Chung, definitely not. Definitely not. <sighs> We're out of time. We're out of time. We're out of time. I just wanted to end like something, man. It's been like, what, 10 minutes of probably just brutal. 
Ugh. Okay, we'll go one more run through. See if we can hit something for the culture. Okay, Ezekiel Elliott next. Koye at 49. We already decided that was not a good deal, but thank you. Mike Vick. <sighs> Welp. Singletary. Chung. Got two more. Uh, oh, I forgot about Xavier. Well, I like that that's up for 120, even though it undercut me by 2,000. Maybe. Maybe. They, oh, what's sold? Just something sold. Irvin. Belindikoff, nice, nice. I don't know if I bought that Irvin in this video or not. I had two. I had another Irvin on. Is this the one I bought or that one? I don't remember. Okay, so, uh, oh, I guess this one was this what I started off with? This Irvin here? No, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know what I started with. Or is it Marino? Did I even buy an Irvin? We got Marino. We got a couple Miles Garrett. Oh, we only had two of them. Okay, Xavier Singletary, not bad. We'll see. I hope you guys wa I hope you guys watched it. Well, you watch it right now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully, we had a decent profit there. Blendikov was solid. Uh, we probably got some pretty decent stuff. That's probably what you're gonna be looking at when you're using this filter. A lot of five to ten k snipes is what I'm looking for. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It's absolutely incredible. That's all I got. Chewbacca lemma. Out. Here to stay, so let me hear you say, off me. I know that's